what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl empress jim here to drop some jewels and love i got that monthly follow-up august 2020 for virgo summer rising and venus in your cross watchers virgo happy early birthday your season is approaching so guys keep in mind this is a general message take what resonates leave the rest behind give the video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. Hit that bell button so you know those videos drop. Leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on. Okay. That's ready. Virgo, I've seen past life relationship here. And not for nothing, what I'm channeling for you guys is so sick by Neo. So let's see what we got going on. But yeah, like I was saying, follow me over to those social media platforms if you're on them. And if you're looking for a personal, all that information is listed below. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to get ready to make some changes to how I do readings. Uh, stay tuned. If you're on the social media platforms, you will see it there first before you see it on the video. So just trying to pull everything together. But Virgo, Summer Rising and Venus and the Cross Watcher. Let's get some love follow up. But yeah, what I was feeling for you guys is um, something happened in July. It's, I don't know what is a July. Something happened in July that you're still reminiscing on about a situation in a July, okay? Because um, especially, you know, in the song he says, you know, got to change the calendar he had that's marked July 15th. Because since there's no more you, there's no more anniversary. So there could have been a breakup that took place July 15th, if that's important for some folks. Or just something in July where there was a separation between you and and this person of love interest that you have on your mind right now, okay? Yeah, it's like these cards are ready, okay? <laughs> um, I was picking up Libra energy, so you could be dealing with a Libra. Something could be taking place in Libra season or could have taken place in the previous Libra season. Right? Or you could be a Virgo Libra cusper. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away emotionally. I'm just feeling... I'm, and like it could be cross watchers, so take it how it resonates. But there is somebody who is just like really sad. They can't get over something of the past. It's like they keep. It is not necessarily so much that they keep being reminded, is that they're allowing themselves to be reminded instead of like letting the situation die and let it go. They are bringing the hurt back into themselves. It's like they're waiting for things to change. It's like if I could go back. And change the hands of time, you know, our Kelly vibes. But I'm really feeling like somebody just wish they could go back and change things. There is just like this heartache and this heartbreak that is still sitting there. And like I said, it's something that took place in July. Okay. And if you're like, well, this, whatever, whenever, okay, that's what I got. That's the month. Maybe things will pick up next July. You know, things will get better next July, but I do feel like that there was something that took place. Cancer season even, you know, end of June, beginning of July, that could, that is causing this upset right now with you. So, last one here. So we'll get your show on the road. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and you cross watchers. Let's see what we got. We'll shuffle out. Everything else is prepped to go off the top, but we'll shuffle this out. What we got here, children. So this could have to deal with children or someone that you have children with. Um, it also could deal with a past childhood type of friend or, you know, somebody that you know from back in the day. Could be a high school sweetheart, you know, whatever the hell it may be. But your love life is being affected by children, okay? So... Could be somebody that you have kids with, like I said. Could actually be with your own children that you have this issue with right now. So let's see. First card out was keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? So that's what I'm saying. It's like somebody broke your heart. That's what I'm feeling like. Or there was a separation or something that took place. And you probably thought that this was somebody that you were supposed to be with. But I, this is letting me know that it's not, okay? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Take a step back and really look into the situation because I feel that the person that, you know, has you in this so sick 
type of mode is not the one that you're supposed to be with, especially with the second card coming out being worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. So I feel that the universe is trying to bless you with the person you're supposed to be with. But I feel like because you're still stuck in a past situation that you're not open enough to see that the love that you are yearning for, that you are desiring is here. So you do need to take a step back so that you can pay attention to what the universe is trying to present to you in the form of love and affection through, you know, the eyes of a soulmate that you want. Okay, so your first, oh, geez, the car is just like, come on, get us. And it's like, not yet. Okay, so your first message out is, I have found the one that my soul loves. And I see this as an ace of swords energy. This is the spade. So this is like some truth here, okay? Like, honestly, yes, the one that you love, you have found, okay? In your soul, you feel like you have found that, all right? And this is why I'm saying that it's hard for you to let this person go because you love them regardless. You know, it's like no matter how this person treats you or how they talk to you, you know, what the bond elements may be, you just feel like this is the person you're supposed to be with, okay? It says, and where does the power come from? It comes from within. And that's what I'm saying. Needing to have the strength here to see that this possibly may not be your person and that it is truly time to move forward here. Um, let's look into your messages. All right. What we got from the past. Temperance could have been dealing with a Sagittarius in your past energy here. But I do see that in the past you were trying to bring about some sort of balance. You were trying to probably manifest something, you know, um, turn water into wine, make sugar out of shit, you know, um, trying to make it happen, trying to stay balanced in this. I feel like you were calling upon the universe to make this happen here. But let's see what happened. Let's keep it moving here. Judgment today <laughs> in the present time where we're at kind of now, you know, it's just um, I feel like things have been revealed to you. Karmic justice. Like I said, this could have been a karmic situation. Someone that you felt like you were supposed to be with someone who was being placed in your eyes as your soulmate who really wasn't your soulmate. I feel like judgment is now being presented to, her, to you right now. And you need to have the strength. Could be dealing with a Leo here. But you need to have the strength to prevail and move forward when it comes to dealing with this energy here. So that you can have the true love that is for your soul. Granted, you may feel like you found that in the past. But like I said, this energy is telling me the vibe that I'm getting is, you know, there's something better for you. So, yeah, there's lots of conflict here. You're very conflictive, being very argumentative, trying to um, come to the grips in terms with it not being for you. Like divine timing, I feel like is truly at play right now and removing folks out your life. I feel like you're fighting against it. You also could be trying to compete for somebody's attention here. I feel like judgment is going to be called on that. What do we have next? Yeah, that's not a good look. You need to get out of that energy. You really need to have the strength to escape that mindset of feeling that like um, like causing problems. This is like lies, drama, gossiping, you know, thinking that you're getting away with something, playing a mind game and thinking that you're getting away with it. And it's like, honestly, you're not. I feel like you really need to have the strength to resist doing this type of stuff. Because, again, judgment is what's going on currently right now in your love life. So think about what you put out so that you can receive something positive to yourself. You need to have the strength and the power to not engage in anything that will backfire on you. OK, you want to go into healthy, loving relationships here and you don't want to get caught up you know, competing. If you find yourself like needing to compete for somebody or that you're constantly bickering and arguing to have somebody in your life, you're not supposed to have that person. Okay. Your outcome, standing your truth, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, definitely Gemini, but stand in your truth. Be honest here. You have the tools and the knowledge that you need to know that, you know, more than likely, I feel a lot of you guys know that you need to move on from this past and allow, you know, the divine timing to happen, the worth waiting for. I feel like you've been waiting and you thought that this was your one, but it's not your one. You guys got to keep it pushing, keep it moving forward here. Yeah, you're caught up in your head, I see. About an emperor, could be someone, like I said, it's, it had children, could be someone that you have children with, could be caught up about, you know, a baby dad or a baby mom, don't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me, but like you're caught up in your head. You you could be um there could have been some boundaries that was set out that got you, you know, like damn, you really put boundaries on the situation. 
and like you just don't know how to do it. I feel like you wanted to try to have more control over the situation. Yeah, Queen of Cups here. You wanted to have more control over the situation and try to nurture and love on a situation, you know, but again, you getting yourself caught up because <sighs> let's get the next two. Three of Pentacles, yeah, trying to work with this Emperor energy here. Three of Wands, that's third party. I feel like third party energy that you could have been third party to somebody else's emperor, somebody else's masculine. Because right, like what I'm seeing right here, <laughs> the Empress, no, four of swords needing to lay it to rest here. It's time to let it go. Um, you're waiting for this person to come back in and work with you here, but this is not your person. You're showing up as the queen of cups. You need to love and nurture on yourself. This is not your person at all. You need to lay it to rest because you're stuck in a hangman energy here and stressing yourself out, staying up late at night with this with this lies and bullshit that you're doing to yourself you're causing yourself this own depression here like you really need to let it go naturally for yourself here look at that queen of wands be very assertive towards yourself i'm also picking up whole energy don't be out here hoeing around just trying to throw out the d or the booty to try to make it happen like Sex don't keep a person. Like, all this passion, whatever, like, it's not going to keep it. This guy is already in emperor, emperor status. This other person is already in emperor status. Like, the empress isn't out here. So I can tell you now that this is not your person based off of the energy that is sitting out here. Give you guys some signs. You got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got Aries big here. You got Scorpio big here. Leo here. Sagittarius here. Gemini here. Okay. And uh, Leo here, but again, and a fi any fire sign you could really be dealing with, especially Leo and Sagittarius. No, they're all here. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Any fire sign you could be dealing with. You definitely could be dealing with an air sign as well. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius because you have lots of swords out here. I feel, you know, the money situation. You're just really, really, really. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah. I was talking about this three of pentacles. It's like you really want this person to work with you. I feel like there could be some sort of financial um, bind here, you know, where, you know, you got to work with this person for the sake of something financial. Like I said, I'm going back to seeing that children card. So maybe there's like a child support support that needs to be done. But if you're waiting on this person to come in and like really love on you and nurture the situation, let me tell you something. There's no other cups out here. The only cup is the cup that this queen is holding. So you need to nurture yourself, okay? The power that you need needs to come from within yourself. You need to get out of this mind state so that you can actually embrace more love because there's not a lot of love. There's no love here. There's no love. There's just a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental conflict here, lots of it, and really just trying to figure out how to make things work. It's like you want to come in and communicate this here with this person about trying to make it work. But there's some sort of underlying deceptive energy that is coming off of this. So, Virgo, at the end of the day, be more assertive. Love yourself first, okay? Queen of Wands energy, yes. Invest in yourself here. Invest in bringing back the passion towards yourself. Because when you can take a step back and put that energy into you, put the power, regain your power. Because I do feel like you guys are giving your power away. You're like just relinquishing it to the, the universe, like to folks, instead of putting it back into yourself. Put that power back into yourself. And the one that your soul really needs, that soulmate, will come. Divine timing is at play right now, but I do feel like there's some lessons with this judgment that you guys still are learning right now. So let's get your affirmator and close you guys out. Curiosity. And you know, they say curiosity kills the cat. Or maybe it never killed the cat. Or maybe it is going to kill the cat. Either way. Huh. Meeting new people, right? I remember what a treasure trove of opinions, interests, and stories they are. But these treasures will only be unlocked if I embrace my curiosity. So I'll be curious and be interesting. And you be interesting. Deal? So like I'm saying, there's new love here. There's new love floating around you, but you're consumed with some sort of past that you're trying to balance out. Let it go. You have something better coming towards you, okay? And underneath, you have celebration. Like I said, let it go. You have something better. When I come across people in happy, healthy relationships, I give jealousy the finger and celebrate their joy. What I do, when I do so, I'm rooting for the good guys, which means that I'm a good guy. And what that means, and that means all of us win. Who wants to celebrate? 
So yeah, if this past person has moved on, be happy for them. Because through being happy for them and others, you can be happy w within yourself here. Don't lie to yourself. I do feel like there's like lying energy here. Like you be happy within yourself, okay? And then I promise you the love that you put in, people, you will attract what is right for you. All right? So, Virgo, that's been your message. A little long, but I hope you guys got it. You guys know what to do. I'll catch you at your next read. Peace out.